Renowned Kenyan anti-corruption crusader and social commentator Patrick Lumumba has had an audience in Lilongwa with Malawi's president, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, to render his support to President Chakwera's anti-corruption drive. Speaking after the private audience at Mtuntama State Lodge in Lilongwe, Lumumba said he's impressed with President Chakwera's fight against corruption and embezzlement of public financial resources. The Kenyan law professor asked Malawians to support him in fighting the vice. The visiting and corruption icon and motivational speaker, Professor Patrick Lumumba, took time to pay a ketese call on President Dr. Lazarus Chakwera at Mtuntama State Lodge in Lilongwe, where the two engaged on a number of issues affecting Africa, COVID-19 pandemic, and how it has affected national economies, slowed down business, and resulted in job losses, took center stage during the meeting. Professor Lumumba said he also seized the opportunity to ask President Dr. Lazarus Chakwera to articulate the significance of intra-Africa trade, especially in the context of Africa free trade area, when Dr. Chakwera assumes the chairmanship of the SADC. But passionately, Professor Lumumba spoke about corruption and how the vice continues to drain taxpayers' money. On this, he commended Dr. Jaguera for matching words with action, a direct reference to action taken on those involved in the plunder of 6.2 billion kwacha COVID money. Professor Lumumba, however, warned the fight against graft and wastefulness of public resources cannot be won single-handedly, hence the need for all Malawians to rally behind the president on that course. After a long time, we have seen an African head of state that has come out resolutely and saying that I will not entertain individuals within my administration who have been accused of embezzling funds. In many countries, what people complain about, anti-corruption authorities and prosecuting authorities, is lack of political will. The president has demonstrated that political will so that these anti-corruption authorities no longer have an excuse. What they need to do now is to ride on the crest of that will, to prosecute the cases effectively, to adduce cogent evidence, so that the judiciary has no choice but to convict on the basis of the evidence that has been adduced. And you, members of the media, will already have seen across the continent of Africa, people are saying, we want your president even for one day, even for two weeks. That, I think, is a good thing. The positive lesson to be drawn from that is that Africans have an appetite for good things. That Africans have seen thieves for too long going unpunished, and they now want to see that something is done to bring these individuals to book. While on innovation, Lumumba challenged African governments to coordinate further by apportioning part of their budgets to medical research, saying the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent vaccines should serve as a wake-up call for Africa to come up with its own vaccines someday. There should be a coordination, and African governments, in my view, should deploy a portion of their budgets with the specific agenda of supporting initiatives that are already going on. Take, for example, very early on, the Malagasy Institute of Applied Science came up with something called COVID Organic. Why should we collaborate with that particular institution and work to see if a vaccine can be developed? Professor Patrick Lumumba is a Kenyan legal practitioner and motivational speaker.